Are you bored with your workout? Don't let your slip turn into a slide. Hey, Coach Ashley here at the Critical Bench Compound. Has your slip turned into a slide? you need some variation. I have this conversation a lot with my clients and they start to get bored. They're not looking forward to going to the gym anymore. And they ask, how are you varying your routine? What are you doing different that you do every day? And they don't really have an answer. My answer for myself and what I advise my clients is literally add a different piece of equipment to your gym session. Suspension straps are easy. They go in your gym bag. You can hang them from any squat rack. If you're at a gym, if you're at home, you can go outside, hang them from a tree. You can hang them from a door. Literally this variation, literally a variation piece of equipment will add variation to your routine. If you do not have suspension straps, you need them. I'm telling you right now, stop what you're doing, you need them. Go to the comment below. I've dropped a comment for you, a link, so you can get your own, click it, grab your own suspension straps, and get rid of your excuses. You're not bored, you're just not changing your routine enough. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys three different movements to add some variation to your routine. I picked three full body movements because guess what? I've already showed you some upper body movements. I've already showed you some lower body movements. I've already given you core movements. Now I'm gonna combine all of the body parts and I'm gonna give you three different movements on the suspension strap that's gonna add some spiciness to your routine. So the first movement we're gonna do is we're gonna do what is called a squat, reach, and rotate. So your suspension straps actually have a little loop up there that allows them to adjust and move. We wanna just go ahead and grab one side, make sure it's tight before you start this movement. Feet are gonna be directly underneath the hips. We're gonna load that arm. Remember, suspension straps, you want constant time and attention on the strap. You never want any slack in your strap. We're gonna here, we're gonna squat, and as we squat, we're gonna reach back. I'm gonna tuck my belly button in, use the obliques, and rotate. Pulling the elbow into the body, like a low row, right here. So right here, we're working the legs and the squat. We're working the obliques and the rotate. We're working the back and the low row portion of your squat, reach and rotate. Do not forget to do the other arm. And the other arm, guess what? You don't have to use the other strap. You can literally switch the strap. Makes it really easy right there. My next movement for you is gonna be a suspension strap pull up. Hold the brakes, pull up. What do you mean, Coach Ashley? I can't do a pull up. Yes, you can. The cool thing about suspension straps is, like I mentioned before in my previous video, they can be from beginner up to a very experienced gym goer. So with a suspension strap pull up, the most important part is where you start. We're gonna start with those hands in the back pocket. Every single person has to start this way. Do not start with them in front of your body. You're not gonna have enough room. Hands are in the back pocket. I actually have pockets on my back right now, right? We're gonna lower the body down. The butt is gonna be on the ground in here. We're gonna tuck the shoulders and we're gonna pull up hands finish in the back pocket. Again, it's a very quick movement. It requires the entire body. You have to dig those heels into the ground, activate the legs, tuck the shoulders, activate the lats, the rhomboids, and we have to keep our core nice and tight. Triceps are tight, full body movement. I promise you're gonna like it. And guess what? We have one final movement that's gonna get the legs, the upper body, and the core. It's gonna be our squat into a Y. So again, we have tension on our suspension straps. Elbows are tucked. We're gonna drop our elbows back and we're gonna come here. Squat into that Y, hitting the shoulders. Control, remember we do not just allow the body to drop. So what I don't wanna see is this. See this, the slack? You don't want slack in that strap. You wanna keep the straps nice and tight. Again, squat, core is tight. Pulling your face into that strap. Go ahead. Try those three movements. If you don't have your straps, you need these straps. Go to the pinned comment below, grab your straps, drop a comment, let me know how you like these movements. If you need any help, let me know as well. I can create another video for that. I'll catch you guys around.